Hi everyone, welcome back to Shop Abroad. In today's video, I will do the review of Lenovo D2720 monitor. The price of this monitor is around 13,000 rupees, but if you will buy during the offer, you will get an additional discount. It has a 27-inch Full HD IPS display, 75Hz refresh rate, AMD FreeSync, UV Low Blue Light certification, and everything else that you need in a budget monitor. Considering the specs and price, this monitor looks very good on paper. So should you buy this one or look for a better alternative? Let's find out in this video. But before that, let's see what are the things you will get inside the box. In the box, you will get a monitor, a stand base, a stand, some documents, an HDMI cable, and a power cable. Sadly, no VGA cable inside the box. If you need one, you have to buy it separately. Now let's see the monitor. It has a 27-inch IPS LCD monitor with LED backlight. On the bottom right corner, you will see an LED light. The bezel of this monitor is very thin. If the monitor is off, you will feel like there is no bezel. But after turning on the monitor, you will see a thin bezel. On the back side, you will get a visa mount. If you want to mount your monitor, you have to buy a mount separately. After that, you will get a Kensington security slot. And then you will get a control panel. You can also use the DCC slash CI feature of this monitor to adjust monitor settings directly from your PC or laptop without using physical buttons. You just need to download and install Click Monitor DDC software on your PC or laptop and make sure DCC slash CI is enabled on your monitor. After that, you can change settings directly from your PC or laptop. For connectivity, you have two options, HDMI and VGA. You can connect both HDMI and VGA at the same time. And then you can use the first button to switch between HDMI and VGA connection. After that, you have a 3.5mm audio jack. This monitor does not have inbuilt speakers, so you can use this jack for audio output. And then you will get a slot for the power cable. This 27-inch IPS display is perfect for me. Images are sharp and the colors are accurate. The viewing angle is excellent. No problem at all. The biggest problem with an IPS display is the backlight bleeding issue. But my monitor does not have a bleeding issue at all. Actually, I am recording this from a smartphone's camera, so you might not get the exact idea. Obviously, black is not deep black like an AMOLED or a laminated display, but still I would say colors are very good. This monitor has a 4 millisecond response time and also supports a 75Hz refresh rate. 75Hz is possible via both connections, HDMI and VGA. My laptop supports a maximum of 60Hz and I am getting the same output via HDMI cable. Gaming on this monitor is also smooth. You will not get the best gaming experience, but for a casual gamer like me, the experience is perfect. I mean 75Hz refresh rate is not great for a professional gamer, but this is best for those who want a combination between work and game at an affordable price. Now let's see other features of this monitor. The brightness of this monitor is very good. For me, 50-60% to brightness is enough. You also get a display mode option. You can select one between five different modes. Scaling modes work only via VGA cable. And then you get the overdrive option. Overdrive allows you to push the monitor's response time speed that helps you to decrease trailing or ghosting. You can also enable or disable the low blue light filter. You can also tilt this monitor to minus 5 degree to 22 degree. The only thing I don't like about this monitor is the stand. This stand is not sturdy. This is loose and wobbles, but not a deal breaker. Overall, this is one of the best monitors you can buy in this budget. However, if you are looking for a gaming monitor, you should go for a VA panel with a high refresh rate. You can also check the video description. I will give a link to this monitor and I will also include some good alternatives to this monitor. I hope you found this video helpful. If you still have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.